I don't even know how to start this, but I'm going to just say, man, we about to have a real talk, man. I'm going to do a series of videos and I don't know how long this is going to go. It's probably going to go until you get the point, which means it's probably going to go forever. But I'm going to do a series of videos showing you how as an individual, you as an individual, you listening to this can become a more resourceful individual with the phone that you are listening to this on and also how to think critically when it comes to situations that I would deem as, I gotta be honest, common sense situations, but common sense is not common anymore. And even then, people are not resourceful with the motherfucking super powered piece of fucking technology that's in their hands. So I could get into all types of shit, but we're just gonna go with a specific instance. Of something that happened recently in Texas and Ohio, the Russians are coming. The Russians are the Russians. You received a call from the school or from some nigga. Or you received a group text message on some spam shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. So you received a text message or you received a call, one or the other, saying that you know Russians were going to bomb the schools. That's what you re- you know that. I don't I didn't receive this or nothing like that. You know, this is the information that's coming out, you know, as far as how the information is getting to you. The way that the information got to me is by a bunch of people putting it in the timeline on Facebook. So I see that, oh, Russia's coming in. When you hear this information. You got to understand this is the first thing that should cross your mind. Wow, this is very alarming and very major. This is very alarming and very major. I'm sure that crossed your mind. But when you think about it, you got to think, okay, let's look at what happened. This doesn't happen every day. This doesn't even happen every year. This is very peculiar because... We don't really get bomb threats and things like that. Why in the wide world of fuck would a country that is at war with Ukraine have terrorists in it that have their sights on Ohio and Texas and Illinois, whatever other states? It's kind of ridiculous, right? Kind of ridiculous. So it had to cross your mind at some point that it's not ridiculous, but... Let's just go over that really quickly. Like you got you got to start to look at things and and this is how you prevent this, how you prevent falling for the trap. The first step is to be more skeptical. You get you, you dig. That means question everything. I don't know if you know, because I don't know if you pay attention to what's going on in the world. Russia actually did a lot of shit on social media as far as pushing fake news into our faces. During the 2016 election, the Internet has not been the same since that. When the pandemic came, there were all types of fake information. You remember the 5G? You remember all that? You remember the martial law that was supposed to come on Monday, but then Monday came and nigga, y'all niggas had to go to work. You remember that? Boom. So with that being said, you have to begin to be more skeptical about everything that me because I know some of you are not going to look up skeptical. I'm going to put it on the screen. You have to begin to question everything, especially when it sounds kind of fucking ridiculous. You get it. You get it. So that's the first step. Begin to be skeptical about shit, especially. And this is the main thing. When it affects your life, I don't give a fuck about no man, the Kiki Palmer finger usher. I don't give a fuck. You could believe that shit and it's never going to affect your life. But when you start to believe things that make you, you know, move different or things that you think, you know, somebody could die in your life or something, you got to begin to question things like that. So, boom. Once you realize that, which a lot of you didn't, a lot of you just fell for it because you're not skeptical enough. Once you are skeptical about it and you begin to talk about it, this is what you do. Because when I seen it, 
the first thing that I question as far as my skepticism is the source of the information that I am receiving. That's number two. So step one, be skeptical. Step two, look at the source that is coming from. What was the source that I got it from? I got it from fucking Facebook. I know I can't trust Facebook when it comes to legit news. I cannot. And guess what I mean when I say Facebook? Because y'all be, well, people post real news on Facebook. Man, I cannot trust motherfucking Shadon Don, motherfucking I got it out the mud, Jenkins. Fucking posting that shit is a legitimate source. I can't trust that. I can't trust that. So what do I do? What do I do? Well, before we get to that, you, you got to call from either a school or some nigga at the school or you got a voicemail or you got a text message. After that, you had to say like, okay, if the school is reporting this, you know, there's got to be another source for this information because this is big, this is major, we're skeptical, right? So the next step is the actual fact checking, which I don't think a lot of you do this shit at all. It's so crazy that niggas don't fact check. But we go back to step one. You're not skeptical. And number two, you don't question the source. So you're never going to make it to fact checking if you don't realize this shit is fucking ridiculous in the first place. So let's keep going. What did I do? I went to Google. Oh, my God. I'm about to show you something. I'm about to show you something. You might not be aware of this shit, bro. What I did, you're going to see it on the screen. I went to Google. And there are key words as far as this situation. I could have typed in Ohio, Russia, bombs. I could have typed in Ohio, Russia, schools, or Texas, Russia, school. Or I could say Russia threatens U.S. schools. I could have typed in any of that. You push the search button on Google. This is the key right here. This is a major key, bro. At the top, you see where it says like image and all. You click the news tab, bro. You click the news tab. And guess what I seen on a news tab? I seen multiple articles for different areas in Ohio for this issue. I seen multiple I seen multiple. So with that being said, I clicked them and you know what I did? I used the education that Youngstown City Schools gave me and I read that shit. I read both of them. Guess what? I trust these news sources because that is their whole purpose to, to fucking deliver legit news. They said that the shit was fugazi. They said that the FBI was on it. They said that it's nothing to worry about. It's some bullshit that niggas is pushing as far as it's just some bullshit. It's not no real shit. I said, you know what? That's not good enough. Sources, because this is happening in my city. I need a source from my area that is going to debunk this. You know what I did? I also went to WKBN. Wow. I went to WKBN, local news source, and I scrolled and I, click. There you have it. This shit is a hoax. It's bullshit. Now, this is where I won't blame you at. I understand that the news is kind of crazy and we live in crazy times and that you want the safety of your kids and stuff like that. So even if you did get all this information, if you wanted to be better safe than sorry, I'm not mad at none of that. I get it. I completely get it. But to not seek the information at all and to just take this at face value and just to believe whatever you're seeing and being told by untrusted sources, that's crazy. You need to step your sources up. You need to step your skepticism up. I will be back with more of these in the future. But this is just, you know, just just those three steps. Let me recap it just in case you forgot it. Number one, be more skeptical. Number two, look at the source. Question the source. 
Is this a legit source? Number three, fact check. In the tools that I gave you in this video or Google News and your local news outlet. Thank you. You have a good day.